Hi, I'm Gwen and today I want to talk a little bit about my experiences with burnout and trying to create habits to get out of burnout. As a third year university student, I have had my fair share of academic and personal life struggles. It just seemed to get worse every year for me, which shows how strong I am, if you really think about it. The fact that I haven't given up yet, that's what I try to focus on, um, instead of just focusing on the fact that somehow every year something happens that makes it so much harder to stay in school. That's not the point. That brings me, I guess, straight into the first thing is I try really hard now to have a more positive mindset because I can tell you my first year, I was like, I'm stupid, I'm a failure, I don't know how to do anything right. And I was so convinced that there was something wrong with me because I went from getting extremely high grades in high school to failing half of my exams in my first year of university, you know. Going from one extreme to not necessarily another extreme, but pretty close to it, definitely kind of shocks your system. Now that I'm in my third year, like I'm halfway through my first semester of my third year, I can definitely say that I've grown a lot in my mindset of things and I'm slowly learning ways to do better in um, especially a way of managing stress, sort of managing burnout, not quite as well as everything else, but that's part of the experience, I think. I don't really know. But yeah, today we're gonna work on creating a plan to work on getting back into being productive and motivated because I can tell you right now, I am neither of those things. <laughs> okay, this video is probably gonna low key be all over the place and also probably be a lot of me talking, so you've been warned. Like I was saying before though, one of the biggest things that I've noticed that's actually made an impact with like, not getting as severely burnt out as quickly i don't know like i experience burnout every year i've been burnt out since grade 12 but like is definitely a mindset shift i'm a lot less hard on myself now like i do still get stressed out about things especially like my grades i do still care about that but i've like definitely had a detachment from my grades and my self-worth which is something that i know is probably common i don't want to say things and be lying but like i'm pretty sure that's a pretty common thing that um people deal with so one of the biggest things i've done is i don't even know how i did it to be entirely honest i just one day i was like you know what it's not that serious it's i got in high school obviously helped me get scholarships to pay for my university education but like that's the only reason they were really that important as long as you like are meeting the requirements and, like, if you want to go further with your education, like, then, yeah, your grades matter. But, like, as long as you're doing your best and giving it your all, that's all you really can do sometimes. That was one of the biggest things I realized was, like, just because you, like, say yesterday I did seven things and today I did two things. Today, that doesn't mean I put less effort in. Like, I could be putting equal effort in or, like, putting maximum effort in and only being able to achieve two things off my to-do list one day and seven things another day like just because on paper it looks like one day i did way more and i put way more in doesn't necessarily mean that's true because like every day is different you can only give so much every day each day it feels so philosophical or something right now maybe i should just stop talking okay with all that yapping um the one of the biggest things i have found that actually helps me and helps me get back on track to being motivated and productive is lists i love organization in like every context and i love lists obviously this doesn't work for everybody some people hate lists i know people that would literally never make a to-do list to save their life that stresses me out but what can i say i love a good list so essentially what i've been doing is lately i've been using the notes app on my phone and my ipad because they're connected so if i like think of something during class i can just like put it on my notes without having to get my phone out or like have my phone with me everywhere I go um so that's convenient in a sense of like if I'm trying to make a list and I'm like stressed out about things throughout the day as I think of things it's really easy to add to them and then it keeps track of itself I also if I'm gonna like sit down and get stuff done I like to use my whiteboard or um an index card or a sticky note I don't like using like big notebooks and stuff but I have like yeah, like I have four old lists on one index card because I just, depending on like how organized I've been feeling, like 
like these are so random just like written on the back of an index card in two different colors because they're from two different days but like sometimes i'll do color coded by class what i need to get done color coded by like if it's a school thing a house thing a different thing like other times i just write everything out as quickly as i can like it really just depends on the entire situation but long story short i love lists so i do make plenty of to-do lists on these to-do lists i put things down that i like know that i'm 100 percent going to do so that it still feels like an accomplishment so on my to-do list for today i put go to class because i knew i was gonna go to class like i had two classes this morning i knew i was going so i put that on my list so that i could get back from class and i could check that off um i have other things that i do to like better my environment so like cleaning my room doing my dishes taking out my garbage like that sort of thing because those are things that don't necessarily need to get done today but i know that if i get them done today i'm gonna feel productive because my room is gonna be clean and that's something i've noticed a huge difference is like the environment that i'm in plays a huge role on my mental state and my ability to focus and do school lately my environment's been genuinely horrible um my room's been clean but sometimes it's just not quite enough so by taking control of what i can control like cleaning my room i create a space that's like beneficial for me so even though everything else in my life right now seems like it's just going absolutely insane and all over the place when my room is clean i feel like at least i have one thing in control i also do like random chore type things like i want to get my laundry done today or tomorrow so that's on my list because that's just another one of those things that doesn't need to get done today but once it's done i'll be like proud of myself for getting it done and i'll feel accomplished and then of course i have all my daily to do stuff for school because it never stops so some days okay with my school to do list i do it a little bit differently like i add them onto this list but i have a calendar where i write out each thing and then i cross it off as i do it for my school stuff so it's color coded by class this is like my favorite thing i don't know i use good notes for all my notes so i just make this in good notes and yeah i i like this because if i don't finish something one day and it's not something that needs to get done it's so easy to just move it to the next day and usually like i've really been working on not just continuing to push things like i've been working on giving myself like i can move it two or three times depending on what it is like i don't want to move it too much um but it makes it feel so much better once you like can cross everything out in one day and then you feel good because you got stuff done and then you feel more motivated to do the same thing again the next day on my to-do list another like category of things i put down are like things that are fun to me or like things that are involving a hobby that i want to get done by a certain day but it's just like something fun to do so for today's to-do list and t today's October 30th I want to redo my whiteboard calendar for November so that I mean it's almost November so that's just something that like that could get done tomorrow or the next day but it will be fun for me to do today and I'm gonna like tell myself like I have to get like 75% of my school stuff done before I can do that thing like it's kind of I use those kinds of things as reinforcement or reward because it's like satisfying to do it's fun to do and then it's another thing i get to check off so a lot of this for me comes down to being organized in the list and having the satisfaction of being able to check things off and then that motivates me to do more to check more off hopefully that made sense otherwise maybe i should just stop talking entirely quickly i will try to clean my room and do that sort of stuff first but some days i'm like ready to just sit down and do stuff so like today I'm gonna start with getting some of my school stuff done and I also try to space things out so I'll like do one school task one cleaning or chore task like another school another cleaning like I kind of usually alternate things so that it's not too much of one thing and then I don't get like sick of it and burnt out of it you know also doesn't help that sometimes I just like sit down and do notes for four hours straight and then I'm like mm, why do I feel so tired and not good after that um I'm working on it. I'm working on taking more breaks. <laughs> Another big thing that I like to try to do is to take breaks, which I kind of mentioned a bit before. Um, but basically, 
I when my focus is schoolwork I do like my chores as a break because for me like doing my dishes and cleaning my room isn't a huge mental task most of the time so for me it's like doing things like that are a good break from doing my schoolwork obviously that's definitely not the case for everybody but that's just something that works for me and then also like like I read in my whiteboard calendar as a break from schoolwork so I'm like still being productive so I still feel accomplished and I still feel a little bit more motivated than if I just take a break by like scrolling on my phone kind of thing. I've also been really working on fixing my sleep schedule and maintaining better sleeping habits because obviously the more rested you feel like the more productive you're gonna be at least that's just what I've noticed for myself so I've been working on going to bed earlier and waking up at 6 30. I will be going to bed at like 9 because I'm extremely tired today so I definitely noticed like as the day's gone on I've been slowing down at things but I got my like three major school things that I wanted to get done today done so now I just want to work on my research paper but that's due like in two weeks so that kind of thing is like getting ahead of due dates I guess is like something that I find to be really helpful because I feel so accomplished when I finish things like a decent chunk of time before the due date not two weeks before the due date kind of thing but like even if I finish something the day before the due date depending on what it is like that just makes me feel so accomplished and then I want to work harder to get that feeling again and so yeah for me today like I'm just gonna keep slowly working at school um also like this weekend I'm going to do a lot more school because I have four midterms so I'm gonna need to be studying a ton this weekend so on days like today where I don't necessarily need to be doing quite so much I just won't do all of that because it's important to take like a chill day every once in a while as an entire break as well as taking smaller breaks during the time you're doing your work the last big thing that i could think of that i find really helpful to try to get back into a good routine is to prepare things ahead of time or like plan things ahead of time so that when it comes time to actually doing something it's just a lot easier to start it that's part of why i like to make my school to-do list in a calendar format because then i know what has to get done when and I kind of can mentally prepare for the workload that I have that day. Another thing in that regard is planning my meals out. I eat like the same few meals in rotation pretty much. Um, because that's just what's easiest for me. And it's the food that I like. So what I do, lately I've only been doing one day in advance. But like before I go to bed, I'll write down what I'm going to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then usually like if I remember to, I'll take whatever out of the freezer so that I don't have to thaw it um, the night before. So like last night I took chili out of the freezer. Cause at the be okay, so at the beginning of the semester, my mom helped me make um, a whole batch of chili and a whole batch of bolognese so that I could just have easy pasta, but not just be eating butter noodles. And then also chili is a pretty good protein, this easy meal. Um, so I froze those all in portions and then what I did last night was I took one of my frozen chilies out of the freezer and then all I had to do tonight was cook rice and steamed carrots, which is an easy thing to do. Like sometimes, yeah, okay, it takes 20 minutes, but it's an easy thing to do. Um, and then I just like pour chili over it. So that kind of thing makes such a huge difference for me because then I'm not sitting stressing about like, what I'm gonna eat and then I go like an hour being super hungry because I can't figure out what to eat and then I just like don't feel good. So by planning what I'm gonna eat at least the day before or even sometimes the morning of because what I have for breakfast, usually it's like a bagel or cereal. Like there's not, that's not as much stress because they're all easy things to make. Lunches and my dinners, once those are planned, I find it actually makes a huge difference for me. So yeah, that's a little bit about my experience with working on overcoming burnout obviously everyone's different and like there's also some things i know i could be doing better but i'm giving it my all one day at a time trying to just get into a better routine of things so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that maybe it gave you some ideas and inspiration 
to make yourself hopefully more productive and motivated. See you in the next one.